everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Hey, I got something to show you guys. I've heard a lot of uh, uh, comments about this and, and a lot of questions, and these are dolphin pingers. You've seen me uh, on all my episodes, I put these out. And um, these are really great. If you've ever had a, a dolphin take your catch, and you, you get one of these and you put these out, these are uh, 175 decibels. I believe it's uh, 70 kilohertz. Only a dolphin can hear it. They don't like that. That's really loud. And, and they're always, they use sonar to hone in on fish. And believe me, when you catch a fish and they, and they know it's on the end of the line and, and they feel that action like that, they're right on it if the dolphins are around. And when you put one of these in, they'll, they won't be around long. So, and, and they're water activated. So you can keep them out like this and uh, no problem with that. So there's actually two of them on the market right now. You have Future Oceans right here, and I have a link on my site. And this one I believe is the uh, Net Shield. There it is, a Net Shield, 70 kilohertz, 175 uh, decibels, really nice. And then this other one right here, Fish Tech Marine. I got this one from Great Britain, had to, um, had to get a hold of the people there. The reason you don't see a lot of them online is because they're sold to commercial fishermen. And they usually buy a lot of them. You can see how they're rigged up. They're made for putting on the same nets. Just like this, they put them 100 meters apart. And these are supposed to go down to, this one here says 1,000 meters on this one. And this one, you can go down to 800 meters on this. This is, this is some real, these are really good tools. These will really help you. I mean, I've been out in the shipping channel and I've seen where there's a dozen boats out there and you see a dolphin at every boat. And then, I mean, you can't even fish. I was out there fishing with a friend of mine one time. We must have lost 20 fish in a row. We lost mangroves, we lost sheephead, we lost the grunts, and we just said, we gotta move. Then we moved to the other side of the channel. Well, they just came right along. <laughs> I mean, we're just feeding the dolphins. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you spend a lot of time and money, you know, with your boat and going out there and, and buying shrimp and everything, just to have a dolphin take it. But you put one of these in the water, they won't be hanging around the back end of your boat. Believe me, they'll be gone. So uh, yeah, these, these are a really great tool, these dolphin pingers. These will really help you. So if you're, if you're trying to solve the dolphin problem, this is it. I mean, these will keep the dolphin away and uh, you won't have to move. You won't lose your catch. All that valuable time you go out there and you're bothered by those pesky dolphins and these are harmless. They, they, they won't bother them at all. And I use a three ounce weight to keep them down. You want to drop them down below the surface, about a foot and a half, two feet. I put these little buoys on here. You can get these on Amazon for $3.99 each. The rope, inexpensive. I have two different kinds of rope. See that? Two different brands. So I really recommend these dolphin pingers and uh, these will really help you. And if you have any questions, uh, just give me a holler. Write, uh, write a comment in there, uh, hit the notification bell, and I'll answer all your, all your questions, everything you can. So uh, I really want to thank everybody for uh, showing up today and watching this. I hope this really helps everybody, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you really like this show. And uh, thank you for watching Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Happy fishing.